Right, let's continue with the lower hull assembly. We're doing this final step here in the lower hull where we put the suspension in. It's a little tricky. I tried one just off camera to make sure I could do it. And there's a little bit of gentle pressure that's required. And so what you have to do is you have to take this part and it has to go through this slot. And we'll glue it a little bit later. At the same time, this drive shaft has to go in the middle of that. So let's see if we can get this without too much, uh, without breaking anything. There you go. Almost there. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. And then that ball joint or CV joint has to go in there. Then we can glue it up. And we can glue this from this side and even put a little bit because this is such a fine cement push it down a little bit oops come on there you go and so we just have to do that a couple more times yep let's try these two guys make sure they're going in the right direction Let's lift it up from the bottom. Let's get my tweezers. There you go, that was much easier. Pop that in there. Push it in, come on. There we go, and let's get the third one in. The fourth one, rather. He's going in quite easily. I just have to line those up. I'll glue them a little bit later and then put this uh, cover, this protector on the front. Let's get him in. Just glue them up a little bit. Final part actually is these two toe points and it says no cement on the toe points so we just clip those into place and we can just pop them in here. There we go, there's number one, that was easy. And number two. And there we have it. I'll just glue those parts and then it's uh, step four completed. Right, now we get to number five, lower hull assembly. Just a couple of parts to put on there, six parts to put on. So let's uh, get on with that. You have to do both sides, but we're going to start just with the right hand side. I'm going to pop that in there, make sure it dries a little bit. And now we've got this part. Let's see if we can get these in both together. No, nope, that's not going to work. So. that in. I guess this doesn't need to move so we can actually glue it in. There we go. That needs to fit on the top there.
That's the one in. Let's get the other one going. And while it's drying, let's quickly get this one in. There you go. Connect some there. Let's put some glue on that. As it's not a moving suspension. And there we go. Then we just repeat for the other side. All right, let's continue with step number five. This is the second side. I've done the first side, the right-hand side, and I'm going to be doing the left-hand side now. I'm actually quite impressed with the level of detail. This is underneath the vehicle, so, I mean, unless you put a mirror on your uh, display, you're not going to be able to see all of this, but uh, look at the attention to detail that they give there. Quite impressive. All right, let's do the... Left hand side now. I'll try and keep my hand out the way as much as possible. So we pop that in. There you go. Give it a few seconds to dry while it's drying. Let's uh, pop this in. Actually, let's do this other bit first. And then before that can dry, I'll put this guy in. There you go. And then we got to make sure that he sits on top of that little bolt that comes out there there you go let me use a bit more glue here oops just popped out there let me put a bit more glue on here and let's put some glue on there let's try this again there you go sitting in there quite nicely now let me just re-glue it now that it's in place make it nice and secure and that's the one done let's do the other one Make sure you get it with the hole pointing to the back. And then before it can dry too much, let's just glue that up now.
Oh, he's already on there. That's great. Okay. Put a bit more blue. I never worry about uh, too much glue on the when I'm doing the tracks or anything like that because I normally put quite a bit of dirt and other discoloration down here so I'm not too worried I just want it to be good and strong there we go all right and there we have it there's uh, both uh, left and right front axle assembly